This is the Uber situation, part three. After receiving yet again another incorrect order covered in my allergens, I went into the help section of the app and reported the issue. Let me just preface this by saying I'm not worried about the $9 burger combo. I'm worried about the fact that they've restricted my account. So I decided to give Uber support a call, and when I got on the phone with them, they forwarded me over to the safety section um, for like Uber rides, and they were essentially like, I don't know what to tell you, you need to go into the help section on the app and chat with an actual person, not just the automated thing. So that's what I did. Here's how it went. Started off with, what's going on? I submitted a report for incorrect order and it was referred here from the safety team to request a replacement. Cause originally I wasn't even looking for a refund or anything like that to be done. I was just really freaking hungry and I was really sad because I was craving that burger. So I was like, is there any way that they could maybe just send a correct replacement? And here we are. Enter chain who was very happy to help me. I said, nice to meet you. Sorry to hear you had a wrong order. Please hold as I check this for you. Need one to three minutes. I was already back to work because I had run out of time on my lunch. So I said, okay. At this point, I'm already 99% sure this email is causing the issue. So I expected him to say this. I understand this experience has been frustrating, but this order isn't eligible for a refund. So I just responded with, why is that? So I'm trying to get down to the root of the issue to figure out what's going on and how we can fix it. And he just comes back with, we know this isn't the response you were expecting. However, we won't be able to provide you with a price adjustment on this order, which isn't what I was asking for. I was asking for a replacement. And then I said, why is that? Is it a restriction? We, I spoke to Uber support less than a week ago about my reports, and they said I was in no danger of a restriction since I was making legitimate reports about incorrect orders. Upon checking, we noticed that you've made a significant number of refund requests on your order. For this reason, this is ineligible for refund or adjustments. And to be clear, I'm going in and saying incorrect items for the ones that are incorrect, not going in there and saying, I want a refund. Like, yeah, I don't want to pay for the food that came contaminated that I couldn't eat because it's not what I ordered. But I don't come at them like, give me my money back. I went on to reiterate what I had already told support. I have a life-threatening medical condition that requires me to strictly manage what I eat to avoid allergic reactions. If an order is wrong, it's not just inconvenient. It means I cannot eat it at all, even if I remove ingredients. This is the reason I reached out when I got that email and they said all was fine on my account since I have a valid reason for the reports. So he had me hold again. I said, thank you. He says, thanks for staying connected. I'm sorry, but this order isn't eligible for a refund, which is not what I'm worried about. If you have problems with your delivery, feel free to rate and leave feedback for your delivery person or merchant in the app. The feedback you provide will help us work with merchants and delivery people to improve the order experience. I reiterated that I'm not worried about the order. I'm worried about the account. He reiterated that it's not eligible for a refund. Again, the order isn't the issue. Stay tuned for part four.